talk a bit about the uh, Aboriginal countries of Australia. Now, there are 250 of these countries. There are boundaries and different lands uh, within Australia. Now, we like to compare it as tour guides to a map of Europe. So, for people in Switzerland, people in the United Kingdom, Germany, France, they're all uh, different to each other. They speak different languages, they have different cultural beliefs, and maybe their appearance may be different as well. And this is exactly the same here in Aboriginal Australia. Here uh, in Pitjantjara country, there are uh, various countries surrounding it. Uh, for example, Nyunkanjara, Laritja, you also have Arunda country. Now, if you're in that particular area, the languages may cross over slightly, so you might get some common uh, words, some common dialects. However, the further away you go, again in Europe, the more the language is diluted and the more people don't understand each other. Now, during James Cook's arrival here on the East Coast back in 1770, he believed that uh, Aboriginal people only spoke one language. This, of course, is uh, now known to be untrue. Now, at the time of European arrival, there was uh, around about 250 different Aboriginal languages. Now, there are 700 dialects belonging to these languages, and since European occupation and arrival to the present day, these uh, languages are thought to be diluted down to around about 25 healthy languages. So, when I say healthy, I mean uh, languages that are passed on to the next generation, taught in schools, etc. Aboriginal people never had a written language, uh, they never had numeracy, uh, most numbers they generally counted up to was maybe three or four, uh, after that it was many, okay? So that's a little bit about the, the Aboriginal countries of Australia. Great Southern Lane. Great Southern Lane.